Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You are watching for Tech. We have created two different videos for booting any custom GSI using DSC side loader with root and non root method. DSC side loader is extremely useful application to dual boot any stock or custom GSI with its own user data partition on any unlocked bootloader Android device above Android version 10, which has dynamic partition with the treble support. It works for the both the rooted and non rooted users. Thanks to the developer Vegabu and the team for innovating such amazing application. So here I am using the old version of application 2.01 and if you check its about version section and tap on the check updates, it's showing the new version available 2.02. But wait, I will give you straight 2.03 version. This new version has been released, but I think it's not synchronized with the OTA available under the app section. Developer has done lots of changes in this application which is improving its usability and solving some old issues that users are facing during installation of GSI files. I have given the link of latest application under the video description. You can download it and install. Today in this video, we will thoroughly check out the changelog and we will also try to boot Ancient OS custom GSI on our OnePlus 9RT. Now without further ado, let's get started. So we updated the application now let's open it so this is the first change you get here app will now shows us the bootloader unlock warning it gives the details that this application needs the unlocked boot don't try to use this on the locked bootloader devices it will also give some important warning like keeping full backup of your device and original firmware so if something goes wrong you can restore it app user interface is same like old application at the top who gets the installation tab to select and load the GSI. Then you get the user data toggle to select the user data size for GSI ROM. Another toggle called as the image size is there. Another changes you get under the gear icon setting if you tap on it. Other toggles are already present there like old build. I am using this application operation mode with the root access. If you goes under the about option now you can check our app is upgraded to the version number 2.03. Now let's check out some changes. First is the developer fixed the installation stuck for some devices. Yes, I was facing this previously on my Nothing Phone 1 and OnePlus 9RT. While installing the GSI, installation was getting stuck and never completes. But now it's fixed. If you are facing this too, now this problem has been solved. Next changes is for the non-rooted ADB operational mode which added the new installation script for the external files directory. So ADB installation with the non-root method will now working seamlessly. Next, if you goes under the about section, there if you repeatedly tap on the DSU icon, this enables the new developer option. Now if you goes to the setting of the application, there you get the new developer option. This enables the disable storage check and full lockcat logging toggle. I don't know what the first toggle can do but it's recommended to don't use this setting. But if we enable the second toggle, this will offer the new option to take the log of installation. So if something goes wrong during the installation, we can save the logs and they can be submitted to the developers. So developer can solve all the issues. This will be very useful addition of this update. I will show you how you can take it during the installation timestamp part of the ancient GSI. Lastly, the developer has did lots of underwood improvement and added the translation with the minor bug fixing. Now let's check out the installation of new GSI for custom ROM and CentOS Android 12 in my OnePlus 9RT which is running on the Oxonus 13.1 build. Download the preferred GSI you want to install. If the file is in exit format, you don't need to change its format. Just tap on install, locate and load the file. I set the user data partition size to the 5GB. Don't change anything except these settings. Now tap on install and proceed. App will extract the file. Next it will prepare for installation of image file. Remember if you have set any lost screen password or pins, who gets the prompt to unlock it. You will see the installation where started beside the cancel button. Now who gets the new option called as the view logs. This is the new option who gets as per change log. If you get any error, tap on this option and save the log file. You can send this file with the issues to the developer's GitHub link. I have given the link of GitHub under the video description. You have to first create your GitHub ID and open the link and then report the issue. 
So installation of new GS has been done. Now let's check out the notification panel. There you get the new notification regarding DSU to reboot or discard. So let's tap on reboot and boom, device started to boot into the new amazing boot animation of ancient toys. You can try to boot any GSI. I have given the link of most popular Nippon GSI telegram group under the video description. There you can download lots of new GSI. If you check the about phone section of this GSI, it's showing this is the ancient OS steel version. Android version is Android 12.1. In this way, we booted the complete new GSI with the old Android version on the top of newest Oxygen OS 13.1 Android 13 build. This is a power of DSU side loader. We can do anything. We can boot any third party custom GSI like Nothing OS, MIUI, Real MIUI, and many more. So, I will reveal some most popular GSI with their complete review, like I always did in my custom ROM videos, like what's working, performance, and stability checks with the bugs. So you can decide you can use such builds or not. If you want to switch to the, your original ROM, just press power button and reboot your phone or tap on the reboot option available for the DSU side loader under the notification panel. So you booted back to the original stock ROM Oxonus 13.1 Android 13 latest build. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content for new amazing custom JSR builds review using the DSU side loader. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.